Hello guys, this is my 53rd video and react series and in our previous video we have seen what is Axios, why we have to use Axios with react and what is get request. Okay, here we have the simple definition. It is a simple promise based HTTP client for the browser and Node.js and also we have seen how to install this package and how to import this package and using one example we have seen about get request and here we have seen this why we are going to use Axios in react. And we have seen about get request it is nothing but to fetch data or retrieve it we make a get request now in this video we are going to learn about post request and here is the definition now using post method we are going to create data and we are going to get that data or we are going to just display that data in our website okay it is nothing but creating new data and get request is nothing but fetching the data okay whatever data we are already having that data we are going to fetch but using this post we are just going to create new data and that data either we are going to update or we are just going to get that one now we are going to see example on post request now here i have this example and using this example we have fetched okay we got this api link json placeholder api and i have stored that api link inside this variable and here you can see i have imported this axios package i have imported use state and use effect use state because i am just creating one state and i am initializing the value as empty array now this empty array will be the initial value for this variable now whatever updation i do that updation i do using this function and that updated data will become the initial value for this one okay now inside this use effect i am just creating one variable data okay now this data is nothing but it is going to return promise and we are just going to get okay axios.get using this get request we are getting this api data this entire api link we are just passing here and that data we are getting now using this den response now this response is going to return the entire data and it is nothing but an object okay it is just going to return promise and it is nothing but an object and that object data can be accessed using object name dot property name inside response we are going to get one property we are going to get this property data we are just going to access that one now this data is going to return array of objects whatever data we are having inside api that it is going to return now that data i am just updating that one now here as soon as i give this response dot data it is going to return me an array of object now that array of object will become the initial data here it will be passed here now that data will become the initial data for this variable now here i am just passing this empty array because i don't want this to be updated again and again once i load my website only once it should be displayed and later on it should stop now here inside this return i am just using this map method i am accessing all the values and i am just displaying that data okay this we have seen in our previous example if you didn't understand whatever i have explained you can just refer the previous video you will have better idea what is this get method and how we got this data now here you can see this was the data we fetched from the api now totally 200 data has been displayed here okay all the 200 title has been displayed here you can see entire 200 title has been displayed and this is the api okay this is the api which i got from json placeholder api okay this entire api's title whatever title i am having that has been displayed if you want you can give some stylings now we are going to see post request now here everything will be same first i am just creating one state and here i am passing the initial value as empty array and inside this use effect first i am just getting this api link and here i am just passing this response i am just updating that data here now below this i'll just create one function i'll create one function and i'll just give my function name as post request okay you can give any function name i'm just going to give here post request and inside this function i'll be writing this axios dot post okay using this post we are just going to create new data now our api data is stored inside this variable i'll just copy this variable here i'm just going to pass that variable here okay api link data okay that data is stored inside this variable i am just passing that variable here and our second argument will be r okay i need to change the title i am just giving here title let me just write here i am changed i'll just write here i am changed okay once i click on the button i want that data whatever title i am having inside api from that title to this title it should be changed i am just writing that one now here this is nothing but it is going to return promise so here i am just going to write here then 
using this then method now first i'm just going to get that data so here i'll just pass your response now this response will be having this entire title so it will be stored here now here i'm just going to get that one below this i'm just going to update this i'll just copy this and here i'm going to paste that one now this is going to update and when I, once I click on the button this will be updated from the title to this title whatever I have given here. Now suppose I want only the first API data so here in I will be using this template literals I will just open this curly braces and here I am just going to open this curly braces I want id number 1 data ok only this data I need to access so I am just giving that one okay these are called as backticks these are not single quotes i'm just passing this template literals and only the first id that is nothing but this one i'll just show you you can see only this first title id i'm just accessing so i have just given that one here i'm just passing here slash one now which is going to return me the id number one now here first i'm just updating the data whatever i'm having inside api that id number one title i need to update so that I will be getting here entire API data and using this title I will be getting that one. Now I don't have to write this map method because I have only one data. I am just going to remove this and instead of this values I am just going to write here post. I will also remove this. Now instead of this values I will just write here post which is having our initial data. Now below this create one button and inside this button I am just going to write here on click I will just write here whenever I click on the button I want this function to be executed I will copy this function and here I am going to paste and here I will just write here post request I will save this I will just refresh this one now here you can see first title has been accessed from the API ok this API title you can see this title has been accessed and that has been displayed here now once I click on this post request you can see it is changed to I am changed ok whatever title whatever title I have given here that has been changed because I am giving here post request post request is nothing but creating new data I am just creating new data I am just displaying that data here ok I am just going to explain you again I have just copied this API link I have stored inside this variable now here inside this I am just creating one state and initial data I am passing here empty array now this initial data will become the initial data for this one initial value for this one and later on whatever updation I do that I will do using this function and that updated data will become the initial value for this one now inside this use effect I am just creating one variable data and here using this axios.get request I am accessing this value ok this API data only the id number 1 value I am accessing and using this then response I am just updating that data. Now this set post will be having array of objects and now that updated data will become the initial value for this one. Now this is nothing but array of objects so I can just access the object using like this object name dot property name now this is going to return me the entire data we have already seen in our previous tutorial it is going to return entire array now here you can see only the first user id has been returned to me or user id 1 id whatever i am having here that has been returned to me okay because i have i am just passing here user id 1 so it is going to return me the id number 1 data now once i update this that data will become the initial value for this one now here i am just creating one function now using this post request axios.post request now it is going to take two parameters first is our url okay i am just passing this variable you can either pass this complete url or you can directly pass this variable here now second parameter i am just passing here object and inside this whatever object i want to change i am just i just want to change the title i am just writing here title and i am changed okay now this title is present here okay in the same way if you want to change this completed whatever if you want to change you just have to separate using comma and you have to write now it is nothing but it is going to return promise so here i am having this then method and inside this response okay now this response is nothing but an object now using this object we are just accessing the data okay same way we are just updating like this we are just doing it here now once we get the data I am just writing here post.title and here inside this button I am just passing this function. Whenever I click on this button I want this function to be executed and whatever title I got from the API ok this title whatever I am getting from the API whenever I click on the button it should be changed to this one ok this is how post request is going to work we are just going to create new data and we are just going to get that data. 
now here you can see i am having this one as soon as i click on this you can see it has been changed and here inside this title you can see i am having this okay i am having this title i am changed and id is 201 because totally i am having 200 data here totally inside our this one inside this api i am having 200 data so our next data is i am changed okay because we are just creating new data so here you can see id is 201 and title is i am changed okay this is how we are going to perform post request and we are just going to create new data okay that's all for today's tutorial if it is confusing just practice this two three times and then you are going to understand this one once you perfectly focus and invest your time in these topics then you don't have to buy heart or you don't have to revise again and again you yourself will get once you see this kind of examples okay that's all for today's tutorial thank you so much for listening have a great day